NASA is growing a turnip garden on the moon. That's right, folks. On the moon, apparently, I as apparently this is news to me. There's little gravity, little air, little water, and a whole lot of radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations. Kind of sounds like the United States in 100 years if we don't do something about global warming. It's not ideal conditions for gardening, but NASA is going to try. It's designed a tiny habitat, a biosphere, if you will. It's about as large as a coffee canister, according to NPR, that researchers think will allow plants to, if not thrive, at least exist on the moon. The plant habitat that plant scientist Bob Bowman and his colleagues have designed contains seeds, as well as nutrient-rich paper and enough air and water for the seeds to germinate and grow. The canister also has features that regulate light and temperature and cameras that researchers will use to track the plant's progress over five to 10 days. I guess the idea is that one day, once Earth is a barren rock, which could be sooner rather than later at the rate we're going, people will be living off Earth for long enough periods of time that they're gonna need to make some vegetables. I mean, I've seen a chia pet grow before, so I don't know why that wouldn't be an option. That seems pretty hardy, but people aren't gonna wanna live off of freeze-dried food forever. That could probably cause space madness or something. These little moon gardens could help astronauts to eat local and help solve that problem. So NASA is going to be growing turnips, cress, and basil, which I probably aren't anyone's favorite foods, but I guess they might be hardy specimens. But you might be able to make a weird basil turnip salad. But I don't know. I'm staying tuned on this one, and we're going to keep you posted. Let us know your thoughts below in the comments. <laughs>